What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be learning how to do the vertigo effect inside Resolve 16. Let's get into it. Hey, if you guys are new here, my name is Josh Haynes. I'm a freelance filmmaker and I do weekly videos helping you guys out with tutorials, tips, tricks, all that stuff. So if you're new here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Today we're gonna be learning how to do this vertigo effect inside Resolve 16. It's honestly a very basic thing, but if you do it wrong, it doesn't look very good. So let's dive inside Resolve and we'll go from there. So you guys can see that I created this really weird warping vertigo effect on different stock clips that I downloaded. It kind of changes the whole look of things. Now keep in mind for the best result, you really should be using 4K clips inside of a 1080 timeline, uh, just so you're not degrading your clips too much because you are digitally pushing them in and out. So the first thing you're gonna do is find the clips that you like. I'm just gonna leave all these the same. I'm gonna click on the clip. I'm gonna go up here and hit reset all keyframes. I'm going to go to the next one, do the same thing, reset all keyframes, go to the next one, reset all keyframes. So the first clip, we've got this nice push into a waterfall. So, so to get started, we're going to go, let me double check, we're pushing in. So we need to set a keyframe at the very beginning up here in the right under inspector, transform, and we're going to do our zoom. We're going to start in... I think that's pretty good right there. We'll add a keyframe, and then we'll come to the end and we will zoom out. We're essentially creating the complete opposite of whatever the camera's doing. So let's look at the second clip. We've got this girl standing on the ledge, the camera is pulling back. So what we need to do is we need to drop a keyframe at the very beginning, just where it's at. We're also gonna add a position we might add a rotation, but we'll save that for the end. We'll go to the last frame, and now we are gonna zoom in, because again, we are creating the exact opposite of what we did earlier. Play that through, and that looks absolutely trippy. It looks so dope, I'm completely digging that. So in this last clip right here, what we have is we have the camera pulling back just the same again. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with a keyframe on zoom and position. We're gonna scroll to the end and we are gonna zoom in. Maybe position it up just a little bit more so we can get some of that sky. See how that looks, which looks friggin' trippy, but let's up it just a little bit more. So we're gonna add a keyframe on rotation angle right at the beginning. We're gonna scroll to the end and we are gonna kind of it just a little bit might have to zoom in a little bit more to make up for the black in the corners yeah that looks crazy trippy so now if we play it all through, you've got this really trippy effect going throughout your whole thing. Sometimes you just need that little effect to spice it up and people will look at it and go, wait, what, did, did I just miss something? It's a real trippy effect that will up the quality and the look of your video clips, especially if you're going for some kind of maybe horror or dream sequence thing. This is kind of a really neat effect to sprinkle in every once in a while. Don't get crazy with it, but sprinkle in it every once in a while and it looks really cool. But that's it for me today, guys. Just a really simple video inside Resolve 16. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Drop a comment below on some new tutorials you wanna see coming out. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my new videos. You guys are amazing. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out.